Now you're on a project right at the moment, which we call in Heritage House. Right, now look at this watch. Jump down. See these floorboards? Beautiful, solid, good English wood. Good material, don't like them, make them like they used to. Now, part of the, the plan moving forward here is we're gonna create a plant room. So we're having a whole new plumbing system installed, which means if all the floorboards are coming up, which means we probably will lose 5%. Now, you know what I'm like, I'm not gonna throw these floorboards away. What, floorboards from 1870, my, my heritage, good material. No, it ain't gonna happen. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'll take mine down to my friend, the Chippy. You know my timber pointers, I use my restoration work. I'm gonna get them to make me some. And I'm gonna get them to stamp on there, WHS 1870. So these floorboards, I'll have a new story to tell. Now this way it gets interesting. You'll be able to be part of that new chapter because I'm gonna strike as many as I can, about 300. And you'll be able to own one of these in your tool bucket. So your timber jointer will be from 1870 and from this periodic and this home here. So this, this old girl here, when she gets pulled up, she will be sent around the world to feed many bricklayers and good working men. And she will go on to tell a story. All right, little update, mate. Sanding process is done. Every single one of them individually sanded. Now, I, I don't know how many of you bricklayer boys use these, mate, but I tell you what, your ones won't be rivaled. You no, know it reminds me of? Reminds me of the school dinner hall floor. It's got so much character to it. I'm not going to sand it any more than that because I don't want to take away all of them dark marks and that. It's just, yeah, the character of it. Absolutely amazing. So don't worry, mate. I'll keep you updated as we go. Afternoon, Dino. Hope you're enjoying Remembrance Day and staying out of trouble, mate. So the bigger uh, pointers are there. That's 250 of them so far. And we've still got all that to go. So I reckon by the end of it, you're going to have over 500 sticks here. Hello, Dino, mate. All sanded. All shaped. I'm just in the middle of stamping them. They're going to be 10 of each with a TTB. It's TTB E16. Do 10 of each of them. Look at that. Looks pucker. But yep, so should be ready sometime next week, mate. It's going to take me a while to stamp all these, but it is, it is what it is, isn't it, mate? Job to job. So that's what we've got to do. So yep, I'm just keeping you updated. Right, so listen, this would not be achievable without Tell. Hello, Terry. mate, you all right? Meet the world. Tell, where are you from? Canning Town. Yeah. You know, <laughs> town. <laughs> See, East London produce the best men, so they say, what's, what, what's what the Tracy say, apparently? <laughs> so don't take offence, men, where the country. Right, listen, Tell's done a fantastic job. Um, tell, tell me a bit about yourself, tell the world a bit about yourself, what you do. So what I do now is, I am, during the day, I'm a boxing trainer and I own another gym as well, a commercial gym, do a bit of PT in. And in the evenings and during the afternoons, I make things out of wood. I had no previous experience in this, all picked up from lockdown, all just self-taught, but it's like anything. Once you've got a passion for something, you can, you can achieve and go on to great things. I've not gone on to anything great yet, but I have got a passion for it. So See, that, that attitude there is typical out of our manor where we come from. You've got to remember our manor was the first we bombed in the World War. We got obliterated. Kept going. They was going for, I think, Stepney area because it's highly populated by the Jewish. But the Germans mistargeted typical Germans, weren't they? Eh? They hit Canning Town. So what I'm trying to get at is our forefather ancestries were winners. They were resilient. They just cracked on. Yeah. And this get up and go is just brilliant. Us. And that's why I say people in Eastland are different because we're go getters. You know. Um, that's what I was done. It is learning from lockdown and just embraced it and just gone with it yeah and do you know what i'm no mug i've got a lot of chippy friends and a lot of chippies and i'll see it and i can see his passion and that's why i said to tell you i've got a little project for you you're interested what did you think when i said to you about what i'm doing well anything that you touch seems to turn to gold yeah. Put that away i thought you know what i want to be part of it and do you know what i mean oh, from, from same area same school yeah yeah 100%. yeah no i was i was all for it straight away and i like doing things that i've never done before and every single person that have been in here and come in, because I have all my other clients that use my commercial gym over there, 
pop in when the doors open and have a look what I'm doing. And they all said, what the fucking hell were you making with all these fucking sticks? <laughs> but what a thing to be part of, because we've, what we've done is we've took a floorboard from the house from 1870. These were being ripped up. Now, one even would have been burnt, yeah. scrapped. You can't do that to our heritage, you know? And, and that's the whole part of it. So this was me. So I said to the client, look, can I take the wasted? He said, of course you can do. We can do it, I said, that'd be telling. Right? And I thought, I mean, I needed a new timber anyway, because I used these on my restoration work, you know? Um, basically, what this does, this draws the moisture out of the mortar, okay? So it gives the aesthetic look, and it, it brings the aggregate to the front. So when you point up, your bed joints and your perps look timed. They will go in with the innkeeping. So what we've done, I've always had two. I mean, my two are for about 20 years. Designed two sizes, one obviously there for your 10 mil perp, one for your bigger perp. Also, the height difference is you can work there if you're getting noughts and cranes high up, you can get there. Worth the weight in gold. So, I dropped these four balls off the tail. Fucking nails and everything, right? I don't know, I'm not a chip, is it? Get on with it, tell. It's like Dean, I got Dean Allen. So, it's taken about a month and he's turned this floorboard. By the way, look at the quality of the floorboard there. We weren't going to scrap this, put this to good use, and we've come up with these. Unreal. Absolutely. As soon as I see them, I said, tell you, you've done a fucking good job here. Yeah, mate, thank you, you know, 100% I'll see it, because I said they're identical to my one. So, now what we've got stamped on here, I'm going to show you, um, is, if you can see the camera there, gently WHS 1870. WHS represents work hard or starve, which is my trademark and 1870 is listening to the build. So you're gonna have these in your tool bucket. I want to bring something special, you know I'm like preserving my knowledge, my history, traditional methods. Get these in your buckets, gentlemen. 150 years old timbers is fucking unreal. Now the next thing we're gonna do, I spoke to tell, um, I'm gonna to donate to a charity, a share uh, quite a bit of the profits to a charity. I've got two charities in mind I'm thinking about um, to do. So we'll do. So when you buy these, you're not only buying history, you're not preserving our history, our heritage. You're also doing a good thing, donating to a, a charity. Now another thing, what you know, we're talking about Dean Allen in the floorboards. He knows what I'm like. Look at his done. He saved some of the nails for me. Look, only the decent ones. Yeah. <laughs> but you know we'll come out and use it for something. Do you know what I mean? Unreal. Listen, follow Terry on Instagram. Tell to shout out your Instagram. On Instagram, it's at Moose Carpentry. So give us a follow, I'd really appreciate I'll it. I'll put a link in the uh, video. But also, I just want to say, we were just talking about this Instagram world, this social media. To me, I'm, listen, I, I can't work it out how it does. I'm, me boy, you got to thank for bringing me in. But to be honest, I couldn't give a shit about it. Some of the stuff I see on there, fucking hell, tell. It's, a lot of it's false, isn't it? Do yeah, you know well, I, mean? I do it because it's it's the new way of getting yourself yeah. out there. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, it's self promotion. That's it. It's there's, no, work. there's no flyers or yellow pages anymore. But do you it's know, all we, we, if it ended fucking tomorrow, it wouldn't really make a difference to my life. And that is not saying anything about all my followers. I've got I've got seventy thousand followers. I appreciate every single one of you because I do get work from it. But. If Instagram ended tomorrow, it wouldn't really change yeah, my life. People, I'd still carry on doing what I do. People follow you. This is what I'm saying. People follow you for who you are. That's it. And for what you do. So I like you. I know you are. I like watching your little bits of woodwork. People follow me because they probably don't like me or like me work or whatever. Not because I'm trying to force feed a political view or something like that. Do you know what I mean? I just think it's gone over the fucking top. Like we were just talking. I'm not going to name them. A couple of people were in the celebrity world sort of things, you know. We've both had money to a couple of people. And guess what? We both owed fucking money. Shotted on the fucking deal. The working man. Money or content, but yeah, in this day and age, they've both got currency, ain't they? So they're both saying, worth something. What the fuck? And they got where they are through us, the working people. And we've both been fucking come a cop with it. I mean, we're both from the same neck. There was this and one text and that's it. Bang, done. We'll take it for being not. And that's it. But... It's such a shame. But anyway, let's not ruin a good video. Um, like I said, follow Tell on his Instagram. He's smashing job. He's starting off. Listen, let's give him a bung up. Let's give him a little bit of encouragement. Follow him. Chip is out there. Contact him. Offer him your advice for your tools and that because he is learning. He admits it, but he's, he's got to say, no, he's willing to keep going. 
Show me my coasters that you made. So out of, I took away a couple of boards and made Dino some coasters out of them to be keeping in the tongue and the groove as well. So the, especially the, the year that they are and keeping in with that. Well, they're the only ones in the world, didn't they? Yeah, so, fucking priceless. From the floorboard, look. <laughs> I'm going to put me a cup of coffee on it. <laughs> Oh, Tracy will be there. Oh, Tracy, put your old coasters on the fucking thing. Do you know what I mean? Gentlemen, listen, thanks for watching. Um, information about getting the old of these. We've only managed to do 500. So they're going to fly, you know, uh, obviously for the Instagram and stuff like that. But we have got other floor balls stand, but I don't know how many or how long we're going to go because it's very time consuming for what? It is very time consuming. You can't charge. I mean, hundred thousand pounds for these or whatever, and for the labour and the intense and the love that goes into it, it's just something we want to give back. Tell pleasure. Cheers, Baba. There you go. Follow him up. Cheers, people. There you go. So that's really